<laughs> oh boy, this is a good one today. Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth guy. Thanks for coming by the channel. I'm just so pumped to bring this truck to you guys. I, I just can't even wait. So let's just dive right in. Let's check this out. All right, guys and gals, everybody, thank you so much for coming by the channel. I am just so pumped to bring this truck to you. This has been a year and a half long project from original date of order on my cell phone with my customer, original call while I was taking my family out on a weekend getaway into Western Manitoba. And here we are. Uh, we're about to uh, show you this truck and then afterwards gonna go out for supper with uh, my wife and my customer and his wife. So a big thank you to Terry and Angie McIsaac hailing from Cape Britain, Nova Scotia. Thank you for making the giant trip across the country to pick up this truck. So pleased to bring this to you. Introducing Omega. This is uh, one, I don't know, I, I'm kind of speechless here. This is one of the nicest trucks that I've ever put together. It has a, been a huge undertaking with tons of customizations done to it. Absolutely stunning unit. 
I'll just let you guys soak this in for a minute. So when Terry and Angie first showed up today, Terry spent about two hours just walking around the truck inside our showroom, phoning all of his friends, all of his all of his friends and and business associates, and just sh telling them all about his new truck. Just so excited. I had the pleasure of uh, working with Terry and Angie in designing this truck and uh, coming up with ideas together to bring this this truck here to you guys. So enough about the uh, emotional heartstrings, the tugging at my heart here, because uh, this has been a labor of love, I have to say. And, and Terry and Angie and I, we've become very good friends over the last year and a half in uh, talking almost every other day about uh, where things are at with this truck. And uh, yeah. So starting with the color, the base color of this truck is L3200. It is a metal flake blue. It's got a kind of a little bit of a purple undertone, but a really beautiful color of blue with lots of metal flake in there. And then this is the paint design called Omega. Uh, I was thinking of calling this truck the uh, Terminator, like uh, the Terry McIsaac truck, but the Terminator at the same time. But I don't know, it's either Terminator or the uh the omega i don't know i'll let terry decide what he wants to call it but so with this paint design we laid the blue down from the factory we also had the factory paint on this additional blue i believe it's called continental it's kind of a little bit of an off off uh color blue like a baby blue almost with the uh pearl white border around everything so and then we did the pearl white on the middle with the continental and then reverse on the bottom there. So just a really cool design. And that extends down the bunk. We have additional up top with it wrapping around the full sleeper. Now you're seeing a few extra things here, which we're gonna get into. So a huge thank you to this truck video sponsor, Class 8 Fenders. So Class 8 is sponsoring this truck. They've sponsored this truck by providing these beautiful fenders for Terry's new truck. Uh, these are the stainless steel standard drop, not the deep drop, but it's a, it's a bit of a drop, but not all the way, with the paddle mounts. We didn't do the blind mount on the front, just based on the application. This truck's in the, uh, the gravel construction, kind of hence the gravel road that we're on, and kind of the industrial gravel area that we're on, big concrete and river and dam and so on. So that's all here. But uh, you should check out Class 8. They do all sorts of fenders. They have stainless they have uh, the mounting hardware. They have uh, all sorts of different things that you can you can get. Uh, tub fenders, half fenders, full fenders, and uh, you can just check them out on Instagram, Facebook, and, and their website as well. And they have all the things that you can check out there. So again, Class 8 Fenders, thank you so much for the sponsorship on this truck video. So looking up front here, we have the standard bumper from the factory. Uh, big shout out to the guys at House of Chrome who did the installation of the majority of all the aftermarket add-ons on this truck. Well, there's a Pelican flying away. Just love it over here. Uh, so we have the United Pacific clear lens standard with the marker lights in the corner there. And then we have the JW speaker heated headlights on both sides, those are all in there. We have the seven ribs across the front grille with that beautiful Kenworth emblem. We had to shine it up a little bit here. Bugs kind of splattered on the drive up. Man, we got pictures today like you wouldn't believe, driving all over the place. Uh, Shift Products had supplied us with the turn signal on the fender here, clear amber, clear red on the back side, standard LEDs, so those are really cool. Uh, we also have the Shift Products air cleaner lights on the front, clear amber. And then over the air intake tube cover, a uh, big shout out to 12 Gauge Customs for providing these to us for the installation. Just looks super cool. Along with the visor. So that is a flat glass truck, flat glass visor and the 42 inch flat top. So this is the true flat top W900L long hood. I kind of didn't, didn't mention that at the beginning of the video, but uh, that is what we got going on there. Now to keep the theme of the truck, we went with the bullet lights up on the roof as well. So those are the United Pacific lights with the uh, clear amber 
uh, standard LEDs up top. We were not able to figure out the uh, the beacon lights, we're trying to find a low profile, but with uh, supply chain problems right now, it's kind of hard getting our hands on some things. Even though we had about two months to get this truck together, we still couldn't get anything quick enough. And uh, so the customer is gonna be putting his own low profile lights on the top there, just to kind of keep it slim and down low, as opposed to the factory uh, big bubbles on top or the pimples. <laughs> Now down here, we did the stainless closure panel with the Kenworth emblem right there. So that kind of comes together when you do that. And we did not drop the front end on this truck. Being in the gravel industry, we wanted to keep it a little bit higher off the ground. So we're not gonna have uh, clearance issues down the road. We have the shift products panel light that goes underneath the driver's door here with the, light, <clears throat> with the lights in it and the same on the bunk. So that is just a really cool look. I gotta say, I love that. Super, super duper. Super duper, gang. <laughs> uh, we did the polish package. So we got the polish on the battery box with the polish end caps, the polish def tank cover, polish stra seven inch straps. And the things I like to do when we do fuel tanks, line up the rear straps, because you can see them typically at the same time. So those are lined up. And then the gap between here and, and here are the same and the same on the front. So that is how I like to set that up. So it keeps it nice and clean and a really good look to it. Uh, Rob from Big Truck Detail, check him out on Instagram. He did a fantastic job polishing and cleaning up this truck. Just looks absolutely sick. Up top we have Dynaflex tailpipes so those are the uh, uh the tailpipe seven inch by 60 so those are some big huge monster pipes up top there it just makes this truck look super awesome gotta say i love that now we ordered this truck without any sort of rear bunk lights flush mount we did the ones up on the side up there but on the back of the bunk these were actually cut in so maybe if you follow me on Instagram, you saw a picture that I posted where I was holding up a hole saw. I, I didn't actually cut it in. The guys at House of Chrome did it and they did a fantastic job. We were debating on where to put it. Now, when we order a truck from the factory, uh, you don't really get to choose where you want to put it. So sometimes when these lights come in, they're like in the middle of a stripe. Well, here we were able to center, center this down the middle, center it from the cent center of the bunk and then space them out evenly across. So I really like the look of that. The alternative was to maybe put it centered in the middle here or put it below. Tell me what you think would have looked best. I think that this was the best position for it and based on about five or six different people that we were discussing it with uh, to where to put it, that's kind of what we came up with, but super awesome. It did have a poolside grab handle here that's painted black and I didn't really like the look of it uh, with the uh, the blue and the painted fuel uh, painted frame as well. So we had that taken off and put in the bunk just for the customer to uh, Do what he wants with after the fact, but it just makes the truck look cleaner this way We have the Tektran wrap around all the airlines and then we have the additional airline here for the accessory plug for the trailer uh, We have the chrome hose antenna. So this is as opposed to the, just a steel hose antenna and then this is the center frame mounted hose antenna with your airline connection there. We did the four foot of deck plate with the access steps on this side. And this wheelbase is a 250 inch wheelbase. This truck is weighing in just over 8,500 kilograms. And we'll get to the rest of the specs here in a minute. But uh, we have the stainless half fenders right here, again, supplied by class eight, uh, really nicely uh, appointed here. I love these, the hardware. The Allen keys, and there's a nice little class eight logo in there. Little dusty, tried to keep it clean, did our best. As far as the rims, we have the Durabrite rims on here. Uh, in the gravel industry, sometimes it's tough to get time to keep the truck uh, polished all the time. So sometimes soap and water is all that you really wanna do with the truck. And the Durabrites give you a nice shiny, bright wheel all the time. We have the Kenworth AG460 suspension. So this is the, the eight bag air ride. And something different about this truck, we have a specialized fifth wheel. So this is a no tilt fifth wheel. So you see this rear bar. So this bar actually can come out when you pull out the cotter pin on the other side. And that's to prevent the 
fifth wheel from tilting and the application that this truck is in with a scissor neck uh, end dump trailer uh, they need to have a fixed mount fifth wheel uh, or a no tilt fifth wheel in order to make that the most stable uh, application right there so this frame is also that blue the l3200 or sorry n3200 uh, and then uh, we got the Kenworth mud flaps on the back here that are the black rubbers, which always look super cool. Gotta love it. We have the Dana Spicer 46 rear end, so D46-172 with 373 gearing. And we have drum brakes on the back end of this truck. So on this side here, we have a split fuel hydraulic tank. So uh, we kept with that same distance there and right there, that's kind of the only place that we could really position everything uh, where everything was going to line up properly because you have a few different things to consider. So you got this mounting hardware right here and you got the mounting hardware down here and then you have the bunk mounts. So I would have liked to have seen the fuel tank and the def tank mounted a little closer to the front here, but physically there wasn't enough room to fit everything because of the mounting hardware right back there and here is just too tight together. So the factory wouldn't do that. And then the other thing too, is they need to have enough spacing for the hydraulic tank uh, lines with the elbows to go out of the tank without getting sort of interference with anything else on the truck. So that's what's going on there. Now over here, we have the shift lights as well. And we have the dual exhaust. Now on the flat glass trucks, the Exhaust is only connected on the one side. Real shame, I, I really don't like that, that that's how it's done, but nothing we can do about that. That's just all to do with emissions and uh, there, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Alrighty, so under here we have the skinny lights that go underneath the cab. And we actually had to change this panel because the factory panel on a flat glass is actually a little bit shorter. So when we put this light on there, there was a gap about as big as my thumb. And that's because this here couldn't be put over top, which would look silly because it wouldn't line up. So we ended up just putting a new panel here because it was a little bit of a learning curve on this one. New panel, painted it to match the truck. Everything fit just beautifully. So it looks really good. Polished DPF box with the emissions housed inside. Now up here we have the air cleaners, which are the 15 inch with the with the bolts mounted to the inside, which is kind of almost standard protocol for how I like to set up the truck. Now let's uh, open up the hood here and I'll show you what we got going on. Oh boy. All right, so under the hood, we have the Cummins Performance Series. That is the X15, it's the 565 1850 Torque. So she's a powerhouse underneath here. Lots of power for what uh, Terry's gonna be using the truck for. So a few things that we have on this truck here, we have the Dabco 382 heated fuel water separator right there. We have the remote lube terminal, the power boost terminals, and then we also have the hood supports. So this is to support the fender, so you're not gonna have any sort of uh, paint chipping, uh, or sorry, paint starring from the underside so that when the hood truck is going down the road, your headlights aren't kind of bouncing and it also prevents the paint from starring kind of along the fender uh, edge there. Uh, we also put in the hood hinge reinforcement so that makes the hood a little bit easier to open, kind of like a garage door opener spring, if you will. Um, what else can I tell you on this side here? Yeah, what do we got here for brakes? We have drum brakes on this truck, so it's all the way around drum brakes, front and back. Uh, on the other side here, we'll go take a peek and see what's over there. So on this side here, we got the hot side. Uh, the air dryer was installed down here. Now, sometimes you've seen that air mass, master air fill chuck on the driver's side, but this one here is located right down there on the passenger side. So if you wanna do a rapid air fill on the truck, you can uh, hook that up right there. Uh, right here is a under cab light. 
under the uh, hood light. Uh, there's one on the driver's side as well. And then you also have the taps to shut off the coolant into the engine compartment uh, or the HVAC compartment so that you're not going to be running coolant in the summertime uh, when you're not running the heat, if that's what you want to do. So that is a little bit about underneath the hood. Let me close this up and take the tour on the inside. All right, so we are walking into this cab here. You can see on the door panel, we have the diamond stitching. So this is the diamond VIT interior with the black. Now something that's different on this truck, we had the guys at Shift custom make these black and blue floor mats. Just love the look of this here, just to tie in the outside to the inside. Uh, we have a PTO switch right here. It's not hooked up as of yet, but uh, this is just kind of how we had to put the truck uh, with the PTO switch down here to free up as much space on the dash for any additional components that we wanted to put on there. So down here is the uh, lights that are mounted to the side of the bunk right up there. And then now uh, we have your interior lights. The first position is the red light on the floor and then you have your cab lights. And then there's the bunk light, engine fan, pre-wire beacon switch right there, air traction control. Now over on, uh, here, I'll just turn on the light so we can see a little bit better. On the door pad, we have the door locks, we have the window lift controls and the, uh, the mirror controls rather, mirror controls right there with the heat and then the window lift controls right there. Up here, we have a full gauge, so fully filled gauge with all the gauges all the way across. We have your DPF regen, a couple trailer spare switches, uh, trailer lift axle uh, switch right there, fifth wheel slider, hazards, your jakes, your crews, your full lockups in the air suspension dump. This truck does come with an 18 speed manual transmission and it has the uh, air conditioning controls, heat controls right down there. And then this guy controls your main tripometer up above. Up above, in the cab, we have, like I said, the diamond stitching all the way across. And this is a true flat glass. So you can see here, the glass all the way across is flat and it is the flat roof. So uh, very nice old school look to this truck. CB radio right up above, your AM FM radio right here with Bluetooth uh, right there. And then there's the uh, light control. So this is where we have all your clearance lights for the underglow under the cab and the air cleaner lights all based on that right there. Now over here is the black dash uh, with the glove box and we also have the carpet mats on this side too and I have a bunch of my junk if you will in the truck while we're getting ready to do this video shoot. I'm just going to take a quick look into the bunk. Such a nice day today. Such a nice day, such a nice day. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the bunk light for a second. So this is the coffin bunk. So this is what we call the coffin bunk. Uh, so back here, it is just a little coffin. Now, the customer actually, Terry didn't actually need a bunk, but just the look of it with the paint design, it just looks way cooler to have this paint design extend onto a bunk. It gives a little bit more space back here just to throw some extra things uh, or you know, have a quick nap if you, if you so need to do that, if you're pulling the midnight, uh, or we're burning the midnight oil, if you will. So diamond stitching all throughout the whole back, the whole wall, the whole upper thing, the whole thing is all done. Just really cool. Uh, we didn't do the windows in the back, that way the paint design goes over the doors, which makes it look really cool on the outside. And you get a little bit better insulation because uh, you have the door padding on the inside as opposed to a window. I always have to say I love this because it's just an old school, awesome fan. Um, oh, how do I turn that on now? Oh, there's, there's no power to the truck. <coughs> There we go. Now we're cooking back here, cooking with gas. So love that old school fan, just super cool. And then we have a little storage compartment overhead. So it just kind of runs 
along the back here. Drop that down. Oh, <gasps> no way. Yes. I love doing this. Come on, come on. Can I get it? Oh no, I gotta get it. Please. Oh. Love doing this. My favorite is doing it on a new phone. I love getting new phones and then you take all the plastic off. It just is so, so satisfying. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, now I gotta, I'll just leave that there. I'll let the customer do the rest. Okay, Terry, I hope you enjoy. I gotta save a little bit for the customer because it's always fun doing that, but I'll just leave that there. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. All right, so on this side here, we have a little uh, charging port at the back here. So that's uh, kind of handy to charge up your cell phone if you need to. And if you wanna lie down on your back here, and I'll just turn this light off, you can see up here we have the overhead lights, the dome lights off and on right there. And then this is to run your AC and uh, to adjust your temperature. And you do have some speakers right here. So if you are having a nap down here, you have all the controls right overhead, which is really convenient. And then up above, that is just solid. So nothing in there. All right, so that's it. I'm kind of sad actually right now because uh, I've spent so much time on the phone with Terry over the last year and a half that, uh, you know, I know we're going to stay in touch and everything, but we're just not going to be talking as often because trucks in his hands now. But uh, anyways, Terry, let's stay in touch here. And uh, I can't wait to come and have some lobster with you back home in Cape Breton. So uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you'd like to do that, or even if you don't want to do that, please do that. Just do me a solid and just hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year and it's kind of stalled out just about at 50,000. So uh, do your part and make a difference in the Kenworth Sky Nation and subscribe to this channel. Um, don't make me do like a phone pledge drive to get more subscribers because that would just be a waste of everybody's time. So just make it easy for yourself and just hit subscribe right now, okay? Uh, hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know your comments. If you have any uh, questions or, or uh, uh, interest in talking to me, you can go to thekenworthguy.com where you can get a hold of me various ways, whether it be mobile, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Tumblr, Twitter, blah, 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 Facebook, Instagram. I'm on all those platforms. So you can subscribe to me on those if you're interested as well. So that's it. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you at the next video. Have yourself the world's best day.